Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I will be teaching you how to open a GIF and a JPEG image and resize it automatically and you will be able to save it as the format selected by the user. So for this uh, for this part I will be uh, teaching you how to uh, resize JPEGs and GIFs but you can do any kind of format based on the needs that you have. So let's get started. So I have the toolbox here. Um, what we need for this program, we're going to need two buttons, one for browse, one for save. And we're also going to need a group box, as well as a label. Actually, we need two labels. And last but not least, we are going to need a rectangle as well as open file, save file, and this rectangle shape These right here. These two are really important. I'm going to get, up, get rid of the ones there. Open filter. Let's filter by JPEG. Anything JPG and uh, anything GIF, JPEG and GIF. All right, that's the filtering for the open file dialog. Let's uh, change the filtering for save file dialog as well. Let's do filter for JPG. We need to separate those. It's not like the uh, open file dialog. We'll, uh, you'll find out later why. All right. And let's do GIF. Anything GIF. Okay, we need to take these away. Because it's not going to work. All right. So we have filtering for JPEG and GIF. Um, for a safe dialog. All right, so now let's do our programming for browse button. Double click on the button and you come here. So let's see. Okay, so if open file dialog dot show dialog equals Windows, okay, then we want to do certain things. So when you click on the button, open dialog, and if it's okay, do this. Um, all right, so we need a we need to define a, a parameter outside these subs, and we'll uh, you'll see why as image. So just define that uh, resize image as image. Uh, let's come over here. So as soon as you say OK, change the uh, image path label. All right, and set it equal to the open file dialog dot file name. All right. The second thing we need to do is change the rectangle background image equal to image from file. So that's going to set it as any path that you like. It's going to change the rectangle button, uh, rectangle shape right here, to anything that you select as the path here. And the path is going to show right there. All right, we can test it, test it later. So let's just uh, write the programming here. And we're going to need a size. All right, so we need to change, we need to create a, a parameter as a size. So dim new size as new size and we specified it. Now you can say um, uh, high, uh, width and height. So we want to do 100 by 100 pixels. All right. And then uh, our parameter up here, we want to Say resize image equals new bitmap 
uh, okay so now we we need to input the uh, the image that we want to resize and that's going to be the background image that we set previously and then we want to specify the new size as new size all right so that's going to basically what we did is just assign that to that and set the new sizing and uh, resize image is going to be that image that we chose uh, the user selected and it's going to resize it as 100 by 100 so that's what we did so far you can also add um, another line later let me just uh, change this so the rectangle dot background image we want to set it as the new resized image all right so now uh, when we look in our form here this is 100 by 100 but if you choose a different size uh, other than that then your and the image is not going to look right so just in case if you select uh, if you select if you change the size of the box later here's what you can do and you forget to do this background image layout is equal to image layout dot stretch right so that's what you need to do if you change the size of the box right there it's going to be copied uh, it's going to be like a um, the pattern is going to be a tile and it's going to look all copied in here so in case you don't do that you just want to set this to stretch so every time it's uh, it's fit into the rectangle all right so now that we have that let's test our programming all right, so browse image, browse, and we got these two files right here, and you can see our filtering is JPEG and GIF. All right, so you can choose any JPEG or GIF. You can add any that you like later. So right now, I'm just going to choose the JPEG, and it's going to show up right there. And right there, you can see that our image has been resized to 100 by 100. All right, let's choose the GIF. And it's going to look like that. The quality of the uh, GIF image is a little bit lower, so it's just going to see it like that. All right, so that's uh, the first part of the programming. Uh, so now that it's working, let me just change one more thing here. Change this default to nothing. All right. All right, now we want to program our save button right here. And what it's going to do is to save the background of the image. Uh, the background image of the rectangle so in case our user forgets to select an extension or type in an extension for the name you want to and uh, we want our program to be user friendly so what I'm going to do is to set the uh, save file dialog add extension so this is going to add an extension to the file name that the user chooses in case they forget but you also need to uh, remember to set the default extension and we want the default extension to be uh, whatever the choose uh, whatever the uh, user chooses but uh, remember when we imported the imports.io and that's where this comes into play get extension and we want the image path label dot text all right so the default extension is going to be whatever uh, the user selected as the image they want to save it as all right so here comes the next part so if save file dialog dot show dialog equals okay here's what we want to do all right, so in order for you to save, uh, when you say uh, okay, in order for you to save an image, you need to pay attention so that um, it's uh, it's really important that you have your debugging uh, here. So in case like there's an image that doesn't exist, uh, your program doesn't crash. So let's put the uh, try uh, parameter there, select case, 
C file dialog filter filter index. So we want a case. So in case the uh, the the user selects a JPEG or they select a GIF, and remember that the filter indexes are always starting from one, unlike the arrays. The arrays start from zero. The indexes start from one. All right. So in case it's the uh, uh, they choose a JPEG, we want to save the rectangle background image dot save and save file dialog that's going to be the path of where you're going to be saving it and that's going to be the save file dialog file name and then here's the command that you need system dot drawing dot imaging dot image format dot finally you get here as JPEG all right good so we need to copy that put it in here and just change that to GIF so in case two uh, we will be using GIF and the first one is going to be JPEG image format so basically that's uh, that's the command for saving a uh, image all right so the reason why I defined re resize image up here is because you need to um, basically close it or dispose it later. This is really important in programming because it kind of uh, uses up the space and uh, the, the memory and everything. So you want to make sure that you close and dispose everything that you use. All right. Um, so in case, uh, in case there was an error, uh, we want to show a message box saying that there is no image please browse an image first so that's in case the user tries to uh, press the save and try to save um, the background image of the rectangle where there's nothing existing all right so all right so that's the program for this part let's see if it works all right, so, so you see, like, there's no image here. If I say save image, and if I try to say save, or if I try to say something in here, all right, so it's going to be, there's no image. Please browse an image first, all right? So I need to browse an image, say JPEG. So now it's resized to 100 by 100, and say save image, and let's just do... A. So notice here that I'm not going to put the extension, and that's where the default extension comes into play. Say save, and voila. You go to our directories, and we're going to see A right there. All right, cool. So it's resized now, and you can also see on the bottom right there that it's 100 by 100. So let's uh, try, let's try a GIF, All right? 100 by 100, save image. So here is the uh, filter type here. We want to change it to GIF and change the name to B, hit save. All right, and here's B. So we got an A and B. Our A is J, JPEG, our B is GIF. And here it is. And we resized it to 100 by 100. Cool. Uh, so our program works. Um, and I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you learned something and it helps you. And uh, just leave me a comment or anything, any questions you have. And I will try to answer them as to the best of my knowledge. Thank you for watching and have a good day.